what's up everybody it's your boy law cannon i told y'all 2021 y'all was getting all of the recipes that i got and today we will be doing one of my favorite jerk lamb chops and cajun alfredo and y'all know i'm from chicago so y'all know i'm from the jerk capital we probably get jerk water if we could but on a serious note y'all let's get right into this recipe and make sure you guys are subscribed before we start this video let's get it so the first thing of course that you need is your jerk lamb chops now with your jerk lamb chops you can buy these lamb chops cut you can buy them already on the rack and you do the cutting it's up to you i bought these pre-cut because i didn't have time for all of that because it's supposed to be an easy recipe right right so we're gonna start off with our dry jerk season. Now I'm using JCS Boston Dry Jerk. This is one of my favorite jerk seasons to use. And then I'm also adding the marinade that comes with it. Uh, it doesn't necessarily come with it, but I usually like to buy both. Now you can buy Walker's Wood. You can go buy any other type of jerk season that you prefer. This is just the one that I prefer. So yeah, you wanna add in all of that extra season, like add as much season as you see. This I'm not measuring because you need flavor, okay? Can't measure that flavor. So you want to add all that jerk seasoning, and add your marinade, and you want to make sure you get them well integrated, well acquainted, make sure they talking, you know, make sure your marinade is all over these lamb chops because the biggest thing when you're making jerk, you want that spice, you want that flavor, you want this lamb to not taste like it just got shot in front of you. You want really good seasoning, all right, y'all? So make sure you get it real good and mixed. Now, I also love to add um, the juice of one freshly squeezed lime. This helps break down that meat, make it really tender. And it's just, trust me, the lime, the jerk seasoning, the jerk marinade is just perfect. Like, man, this is one of my favorite dishes to actually cook, y'all. So, trust me on this, all right? Next, you want to put a nice thing of foil over your bowl or... Just make sure you have whatever your season is in. Make sure you're able to close it up. You want to close it up. Boom, let that marinate for about three hours. About two hours later, you do want to start starting your pasta so you can have your pasta and lamb at the same time. So right now I'm taking some fresh shrimp, adding black pepper. I'm adding Old Bay seasoning. I'm going to proceed to add some paprika. And I'm going to sneak in some cayenne pepper at the last minute. But don't tell nobody y'all. Now, to start the shrimp, you want to take one or two teaspoons of olive oil, put it in a skillet, crank that bad boy up to medium high heat, let it spread across that pan, and let's start placing these shrimp inside of here. Now, after about four to five minutes, you wanna get a good flip on each of these shrimp. They should have a really nice sear on them. You don't wanna overcook them. Nobody likes over rough, balled up shrimp. Make sure your shrimp are not balled up, y'all. These are shrimp, not old. See, not old, all right? Don't let them ball up. But after they're done, you wanna remove them from this skillet. Remove the little excess um, grease inside of here and the little, uh, like, you know, like the little seasons that's left behind. And we're going to scrape this out and start cooking our peppers. Now you want to take about one stick of butter, add this to this hot skillet, let this cook all the way down, and then we're going to proceed to add in our cut red bell peppers. Now you wanna cook your peppers down for about uh, three to five minutes until they are nice and tender because nobody wants to have no crunchy peppers, peppers and they pasta. So cook them down today really nice and tender and then we're gonna to proceed to add in some minced garlic. I say about one teaspoon of minced garlic. Now, after your four to five minutes, your butter's melted, your 
garlic is fragrant, your peppers are very tender, you want to pour in about one and a half cup of heavy whipping cream. Don't be afraid of that whipping cream, y'all, because it's going to thicken up. Pour it in there, make sure everything is well integrated, make sure everything is well acquainted, like I tell y'all all the time. And now let's start adding our seasoning. So now you want to take about, I'm going to tell you guys about uh, one or two teaspoons of black pepper. You guys know when it's something like this, like this that I cook in the crib, it's just something that's for me. I'm sharing with y'all, I can't really give y'all too many measurements, all right? But you want to add in some Creole seasoning, give it that nice Cajun flavor. Um, I snuck in a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, um, but you guys don't have to do that, but I did. Um, go ahead and add in our good friend, Paprika. Y'all know we love her. Add in uh, y'all Paprika. After you add in your paprika, you want to get everything a good stir. So give everything a really good stir. Give it a good stir because we're about to let everything simmer, come together, and we're about to let this become something. We're about to let this become something, y'all. Now, after you see everything come to a simmer and a nice boil, you want to begin to start adding your cheese. I'm adding in some fresh Parmesan cheese, some Romano cheese, and some Jack cheese. Parmesan, Romano, and Jack cheese. Then after you add your cheese in, add your shrimp back to this skillet. Oh my God. Y'all know when I start looking at this food, I just cook it and smell it. It's just, I just want to eat it again. I think I'm going to go for it. All right, anyway, um, you want to add in all of those ingredients. And while you see everything cooking together, it's going to begin to start thickening up. So what you're going to want to do is add about a third cup of chicken broth. That chicken broth is going to add so much flavor to this pasta dish. Now guys, you don't have to just do this with shrimp. You guys can do this with chicken. You guys can just do it without any meat at all. It's just a really good um, Alfredo instead of that jar. We don't use no jars around here. Hashtag we don't use jars. But you want to add in your parsley. Add in another teaspoon of oregano. And boom. We got our delicious, 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 delicious pasta sauce. Let that shrimp cook in that sauce for about six to eight minutes. So you guys see everything is just nice and thick. Have this on low to medium heat as well, guys. Low to medium heat. And then we're going to add in our pasta noodles. Okay, you guys know you should have had your pasta noodles on the side. I'll put it in the description. So everybody check the description out before you start this video. All right. All right. But um, yeah, make sure you add your pasta. Stir everything up. Cover it with a lid. And boom. Set that aside. Let's start these jerk lamb chops. Take that teaspoon of olive oil that we usually use with our cast iron. This is a brand new cast iron too, guys. I'll, if you guys ask, just let me know if you guys want to know the type of cast irons that I use. This is a, like a honeycomb version of a cast iron. It retains heat very well. It's also non-stick. It's just something really good to use. It's easy to wash out as well. So you want to take a teaspoon of that, let that heat up uh, to about medium. I say let it heat up on about medium high heat, um, but you, this does smoke very fast. If you're using a regular cast iron or a regular skillet, just make sure that it comes to a really nice smoking point. But enough of that. Grab that first lamb chop, take it out of that marinade, place it in this cast iron, press it down to get a really good crust on that lamb chop. And oh my God, we are starting to jerk lamb, y'all. Like, y'all try this, y'all gonna see why I love making this. Usually I make it with like mac and cheese, yams, give it that real, you know, Chicago jerk dinner feel, but tonight we doing it with the pasta. But anyway, Put these lamb chops in this cast iron skillet. Cook this on medium. Five, if this is five, if you got eight or nine uh, options on your stove, I just say cook it on five. Cook this on medium and let these get a really good cook in this skillet for about five to seven minutes because you want these well done. You don't want to eat no jerk lamb chops undercooked. That's not nothing we do. And at the end, we're actually gonna toss these in the boiler as well. So yeah, just trust me, trust me, and, and follow follow the directions, please, guys. It's about five minutes. You want to take a whole stick of butter. You want to cut it in half. You want to place one um, on one side of the skillet, one on the other side of the skillet while these are still cooking. This is creating like a jerk butter bath. And after adding that jerk butter bath, you want to start flipping these boys after that butter is melted, and you're gonna see some nice. Crust. Now, if it's a little bit too crusty, using this honeycomb because this honeycomb does create a lot of crust. Um, you could just you know top take take it off, top it off. You see, I just knocked that little crust off. Um, but you want to flip these, press them down into this butter, let these cook for another six to seven minutes on this side, and then we're gonna actually add these to the broiler. 
So after about, you see, uh, the other six to seven minutes on this side, this is what your lamb chops should be looking like. Like, this is a, like, there's a reason I cook these in a skillet with this butter. Like, it's all about that sear. And when you cook in jerk, it's about it making sure that flavor is secured and locked in every single freaking bite. And trust me, it is. Trust me. Trust me. But make sure you're ready to take these out. We're about to place these in a pan. And we're gonna cut this on a low broil for about 10 minutes. Here's my other secret. I do like to add extra jerk sauce right before I put them in the broiler, just so they can have that really delicious sauce soaked in, plus the marinade of the meat. <sighs> just watch this, y'all. Just like that, boom. Jerk lamb chops with Cajun Alfredo pasta. Restaurant who? restaurant you like you know what you just did look look what you just made look what we just came like <sighs> make sure y'all taking pictures tagging instagram at law cannon twitter law cannon facebook recreate on youtube subscribe i just thank you guys for the endless support let's keep this going 2021 i'm giving y'all the content just please give me the support it's our lives but thank y'all see y'all next video we out of here